Uh, the man who died, Dr. John Chang, is being called a hero today. Investigators say he charged the gunman and tried to disarm him. KKL 9's Jake Reiner is live in Aliso Viejo, where we're learning more about the selfless act of bravery. Jake. Juan and Susie, this is where Dr. Chang worked, the South Coast Medical Group. People have been coming by all day, dropping off flowers. And when they all heard about what Dr. Chang did during the shooting, they said they would have expected nothing less from him. The love and adoration from 52-year-old Dr. John Chang's patients of over 20 years should tell you part of who he was. He was a hero here at South Coast Medical Group and is a hero in, in real life. He's uh, very passionate about family and uh, so sad, so sad to hear this news. Dr. Chang wasn't a member of the Geneva Presbyterian Church. His mother was, and he was taking her there Sunday for the first time since the death of his father a few months ago. So now she's a widow and she lost her son. Orange County District Attorney Todd Spitzer got a glimpse inside the church where he saw Dr. Chang's body amongst the gruesome crime scene. The DA says Dr. Chang charged the suspect, was shot at close range, but then the suspect's gun jammed. It's believed Dr. Chang's actions prevented more death. The person that was there was there to kill everybody and there was no way that Dr. Chang would allow that to happen. John Garadini is the executive director of the South Coast Medical Group in Elisa Viejo, the place Dr. Chang practiced family and sports medicine for more than 20 years. He also had a passion for martial arts. When I first met him, he had me and my daughter at the time that was five. We took kung fu lessons from him because it, he was adamant that everybody should know how to defend themselves. Dr. Chang also gave back to his community, performing hundreds of physicals for local high school athletes like at Aliso Niguel, where he donated half of what they paid him back to their athletic program. They wrote in part, Dr. Chang was a great man, a proud father, husband, and always genuine. He always had a smile on his face. Hearing the news of his death is devastating as he just performed our annual athletic physicals last week. He is gone too soon and we will miss him dearly. Dr. Chang leaves behind his wife and two teenage children uh, here at the South Coast Medical Group. They closed down early today around 3 p.m. in light of what happened at the church. And they say they're overwhelmed by the support of everyone here. But they say don't uh, come inside when it reopens tomorrow unless you have some sort of medical issue. Reporting live in Elisa Viejo, I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL 9 News. What a loss to that community. Thanks so much.